The day the state of Minnesota shut down last March was due to COVID. That, for some, was the day that the music died. But it was temporary because many music venues across the Twin Cities. Yeah, a lot of them trying to do different mm -hmm. things. And saving Main Street this morning, our ongoing effort to highlight small businesses in all of our communities. We found a place where they found a way to keep the music playing. We're going north about 15 minutes from Minneapolis and St. Paul to Fridley. Population just under 28,000 people. Some great restaurants up there in this music venue called Crooner's Lounge and Supper Club. With the help of the city clearing the way, Crooner's was able to hold concerts over the summer and into the fall. More than 200 performances. They brought in a large tent, had drive through concerts, all in their parking lots. This also kept many singers and musicians working during the pandemic. Now that restrictions have eased and it's getting colder, the music is back indoors. And our Shayla Reeves is live this morning at Crooners with more on their business saving planned uh, and some of those piano skills that we got to see there. <laughs> good morning, Shayla. <laughs> Hi, good morning to you, Jason and Heather. We know businesses are getting creative to keep those customers coming even during a pandemic. I'm here with Mary T. She's the owner of Crooners. And Mary, you all have been able to start having those concerts back inside. How has it felt? Uh, it felt really good last weekend to open up um, the idea that we had is why we were outside this summer you know we did 247 live shows outside on our four different outside venues we took the time to improve the inside uh, we raised the ceilings we put in new uh, HVAC um, we just opened up our space so that when the governor was going to say yes supper clubs can open up again we were going to be prepared to have a safe environment uh, for the performers, you can see you were back there with the plexiglass <laughs> for the performers and then also the six foot distance between chairs here on the inside. So we and spent I'm, the summer getting the inside ready to reopen. And I've noticed on each of the tables, you've got the little uh, cards here that say clean so guests don't have to wonder where they can sit. I yes, yes. So as the host sits somebody, then they take the clean card with them and then afterwards, They've used it, they put the dirty down so that we know it needs to be sanitized and getting ready for the next show. What has it meant to be able to provide a venue and an option for performers where so many places are, are shut down and their options are more limited for where to be, to be able to have this venue as an option for them right now? Yeah, so if you think about it, really it's performers have been without jobs as as our kitchen staff has been, as our wait staff have been through this uh, time of closure. So it gives them an option to perform again with their bands or with their duos or trios and to give them a job, to give them money. Also, if you think about it, our kitchen staff has been without employment, our servers have been, so the opening up and giving people an opportunity to kind of get back to do the things that they love to do has been really positive. But Equally important is for people to hear live music, which is what we are. We're a listening venue, we're a live music, so people can come in a very safe environment. And be able to enjoy that music. All right, thank you so much, Mary. Mary T., of course, the owner here of Crooners. This is just one of the businesses really getting creative to navigate some of the challenges presented by the pandemic. Jason and Heather. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's great how creative they've been. And live music is one of the things I think we miss the most. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And it feels like maybe, you know, they're doing it safely. But this feels like, okay, maybe we will actually get back to normal right? at some time. Yeah. Good stuff. More piano from you, yes. Shayla. That was very, very impressive. <laughs> I didn't know. Didn't know you had those I'll skills. Have, I'll have to... I have to brush off my skills. I haven't played in 20 years. I just got a keyboard, so now I feel inspired. Yeah, yeah all right. I <laughs> to love it. To go ahead and start playing again. I know. Thank you. Very good. Thanks, Thank Shayla. Thank you.